What exactly is Norwich's Silver Triangle? There are various definitions, but for the purposes of this video, we'll be looking at the triangle formed by Silver Road, Bullclose Road, Magdalen Road and Sprouston Road. Beginning at the top of Silver Road and going in a clockwise direction, this building is called Denmark Works after Denmark Farm which was originally in this location. The building was originally built in 1907 as a shoe factory and then became tram depot offices for the tram depot and workshop next door. This 1955 picture still shows the tracks, even though trams hadn't been here for 20 years. This picture shows the last journey from the depot, and this one shows a derelict tram situated nearby in 1960. This atmospheric photo is of George White's school, with this being the 2021 view. Who was George White? He was an MP from 1900 until his death in 1912 and managing director of Howler and White Shoe Factory in Norwich. He was an active supporter of education for all throughout his life. This pub, the Signet, was on the corner of Silver Road and Churchill Road until demolished in 2006. This sign from the pub's gable end was saved and included in the building now on the site. This is the Church of St Mary Magdalene, dating from 1903, with this picture from 1962 and the trees having grown significantly by 2021. And nearby is the Silver Road Baptist Church, dating from 1910. Next we have the Cottage Pub, dating from 1830 and seen here in 1987, and opposite Silver Stores. At this point I have a question. Did Silver Stores used to be Beta Shack, for those of us who made the wrong choice of video player in the 1980s? We now turn from Silver Road into Bull Close Road, which runs immediately outside the route of the city wall. This is the 1968 view, and on the corner from 1864 to 1963 was the Mounted Volunteer Pub where, in the 1930s, ladies were not allowed to smoke in the lounge bar or wear their hair up in a bob. This is the view looking back down towards that corner in 1968 and the present day view. Eekson and Eliza Bliss ran this shop in Bullclose Road in a location which now has Charlton Road running through it. Their shop was immediately next door to the house on the right of this picture. This is the 1989 view of the Leopard Pub and this is the 2021 comparative view. The main change being a different vehicle outside and the appearance of bins. Magdalen Gates School dates from 1888. It was originally called Bull Close School and just down there, over the wall, next to the road sign, is a building that was an air raid shelter. The school has used it for storage but has had plans to create an air raid shelter experience. On the corner of Bull Close Road and Magdalen Road is the Artichoke Pub seen here in 1905 in a painting by M. Rigg and here with its more familiar appearance in 1932. In 1908 the building on the corner with Marlborough Road was a police station and the same gable end now advertises cat grooming. This is the front view of the police station together with the current look. After closure the police station moved next door to a smaller building which was just under the cat grooming sign we saw earlier. On the opposite corner of Marlborough Road was St Paul's Mission Hall which dated from 1892 but in the 1950s was replaced and is now known as St Paul's Community Hall. Tesco Expresses seem to feature on a surprisingly regular basis in Lost Norwich videos, this one being on the site of Magdalen Road Congregational Church until its closure in 1971. Next is the Stanley, seen here in 2000 in its Laurel and Hardy themed phase and here 21 years later. It dates from 1890 and is on land originally belonging to Joseph Stanley 
who may have been a stonemason or may have been a solicitor. Records of both in Norwich exist. This is the view of the Albany Road junction in the early 1900s with Cullen's Chemist and the present day view. And we will take the right hand fork past Point House at this point. This is the Fat Cat Brewery Tap in 2015 together with the current view occupying the site of several houses and the Beaconsfield Arms until their demolition in 1973. Between 1974 and 2011 it had been the Wherry, the Shed and the Cider Shed. This is a ghost sign on the corner of Bell Road, an advert for the long lost greengrocer in this location, W. Chittock. And now a few details from other streets within the Silver Triangle. This is the Branford Stores and the original licensee was Jonas Lake seen here with his wife Isabella and daughter Blanche. This is Churchill Road during the 1912 floods and this is Nosley Road as seen from Silver Road in 1908 with Bell's Grocers on the right hand corner. This is Beaconsfield Road in the early 20th century and Marlborough Road at a similar time and this is the Marlborough Arms in 1997, a pub which had opened in 1892. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Norwich's Silver Triangle seen through the last hundred plus years.